If y'all need me in the booth, if y'all need me in the booth next week, I'll do it for free. Just let me know. Uh, this is Andrew Drossel, University of Utah, signing out. All right, in uh, Salt Lake City, Andrew, two lessons. Never offer your services for free, ever, because people will take you up on it. Secondly, there's only three games left in the year, so that's four. You keep your red shirt year. <laughs> Perfect. You're How awesome. about this, Yogi? This is a cool night because Arizona comes in with all the offensive stories and all the receiver stories and whatever, and Utah just grinds them with old-fashioned Utah football. You nailed it. Old-fashioned Utah football. Defensively, defensive front got after it. Linebackers may play. Secondary locked it down. But it was the old line that I'll walk in here remembering. Having a new starter at center, bunch of running backs. They just said, we're going to win the line of scrimmage, and that's exactly what they did all night. Utah plays without Dalton Kincaid, without starting D.N. Van Fillinger, but really without Kincaid, they run for over 300. And it was impressive. So many guys did it in a bunch of different ways, whether it was Makai Bernard or Jackson. I mean, you saw so many guys. Tavion Thomas got back in the game. Huge for this team, I think, identity-wise. Get Stanford coming in next week, and then we know what is on the 19th against yeah. the Oregon Ducks. They have to win the line of scrimmage. They want to get back to Vegas. So, so Utah is staying in the mix. Now, of course, for the mix for the conference championship, but in the national picture, possibly a New Year's Day game with two losses. They're the second highest ranked two-loss team behind LSU. And with the results of the day, first of all, is Alabama going to go up in the rankings despite losing? I'm not sure. Anyway, where do Oregon and USC and potentially UCLA end up? Well, I think it's going to be really compelling to see where LSU goes. Right. Mm -hmm. Oregon, yeah. I think, may climb. I hope TCU climbs. They get another win. It was a tough win. I think Michigan will climb. Clemson will fall dramatically. And I look at Oregon and SC and even UCLA, if they can take care of business, they'll be higher than where Clemson sits. So I, I think all the Pac-12 teams slide up a little bit. Yeah. Well, for Utah, the good news, they hold their home field. They have to do it next week against Stanford. If they do, they'll be in good shape for what shapes up to be a fabulous Saturday of Pac-12 football. November 19th, and for the Utes, it would be in Autzen. For Arizona, yep, they've got another tough one next week. They'll get the UCLA Bruins at the Rose Bowl.